This is a video of my children doing the at-home test kit for autoantibodies related to type 1 diabetes from the JDRF. Here's your crash course in autoantibodies. Ready? Most people have at least two or three autoantibodies present in their blood prior to the age of five years old. We'll start with Lucy's box. And we're gonna actually use mommy's lancet device to make it a little gentler. And this is the test card. So we're gonna get a few drops of blood. And we're just gonna we're gonna prick your finger with a little lens. Don't touch them, don't touch them. And then we drop some blood on each dot. We need to get a nice drop on each thing, okay? And we need to fill at least two of the spots. And afterwards, I've bribed them. I've offered them their own OMG doll. We're gonna to go to Walmart. So your bravery will be rewarded. So clean, and then don't touch it, okay? I'll just say clean, and we're just gonna blow on it so it dries. You mean wave on it? Yeah, wave it with some hair. You did it! Okay, get that big, big drop of blood on there. Hopefully we put enough blood on the card. I'm sure they'll tell us if we didn't. We'll find out. I know a lot of people say, but what's the point? There's nothing we can do about it if they do have autoantibodies because we can't prevent type 1 from happening. That's not true anymore. Thanks to research at TrialNet, which has been going on for a few decades, they do have therapies right now in current research trials right now that are proving to prevent or delay the full onset of type 1 diabetes. So if your child's test results come back at two or more autoantibodies and they're at least three years old, there are studies that they could be enrolled in that would make the difference between them developing type 1 diabetes potentially this year or next year before the age of five versus ever, possibly, or maybe when they're a teenager. And those years do matter because it's the difference between trying to manage type one in a toddler or a kindergartner versus in a teenager. Diabetes sucks at any age, but if you can at the very least delay the full onset, it's worth a few finger pricks, $55 test kit. It's worth it. So this is me saying, please, for the sake of your kids' future health. Get the test.